Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. I want to talk about a little experiment I did, but before we get started, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you could. That way we can get you lots more content and tips that you may like. Here we have on the left a reed avocado in a 15 gallon container and a Hass avocado in a 15 gallon container. And you can see the growth on this Hass is amazing. I did a little control experiment about three, four weeks ago where I used some hydroponic product I was given called Heavy 16 Foliar Feed. There's Bella sniffing out, keeping those uh, squirrels away from the other avocado trees. But Heavy 16 Foliar Feed. And what I did, I did it sort of the way I, I do my basic foliar feeding. I didn't mist it on. I poured it on in the evening onto the leaves, and I just uh, let it sit overnight. And this is what you get. We've got some fantastic waxy growth here. These big solar panels, as I call them, on the avocados, as opposed to the control reed, which has regular size leaves. And it'll work on pretty much every species of avocado. But this, uh, with the Heavy 16, is what uh, this one looks like after about three or four weeks. I'm going to show you a tip using a less expensive product, how to get similar growth and get these solar panels and water pumps, which is what I consider an avocado tree. Solar panels, water pumps, and when they're working correctly, they put out nice fruit. So let's see how we did that. As you can see here, what it's done, foliar feeding, it has just made the leaves of this Hass, and my, the one I did put the product on, just get huge, get some tremendous growth, and get that nice waxy film as opposed to the normal leaves of a reed. You can see the size of these leaves, and then the size of these leaves here, some of the newer leaves, the newer growth, And that's using a hydroponic, big dollar stuff, foliar feed. But what I want to do is show you a hack, a little tip, to be the poor man's version of this same kind of hack. Hang on, and we'll show you how we mix that up. What we do instead of using that high dollar hydroponic heavy 16 foliar feed is just use straight fish emulsion this is a two gallon water bucket uh, and pour that on the leaves. I only do it to uh, avocados that are not flowering or that I don't expect to get any fruit off of. I'm looking for leaf growth because basically we have an avocado is basically solar panels and water pumps when working perfectly give us those nice flavorful little fruits we all love. So let me show you how we do this and then how we apply it. So basically, in two gallons of water, we shake this up and I'll show you how much I put in. I don't like to have a lot in here, but maybe three tablespoons and that's it. I pour that at dusk on the leaves of the trees and we'll show you how we do that here momentarily. Now just to show you, I've tested this on my seedlings using the fish emulsion and water on the leaves. Now you just hope you're friendly with your neighbors because it has a nice fishy kind of smell to it. Basically all I do, take the water, just pour it on the leaves. We do this after, whoops, we do this after it gets dark. Whatever doesn't go onto the leaves goes into the, into the uh, pot. And just do that on the leaves of your trees and you'll get this kind of growth. This was done probably uh, three, four weeks ago. Same thing, a little bit of fish emulsion. The sun is down already. And you just get really good 
growth out of this, but you do have that residual fish smell. What's nice about this also is I'm not putting this on, on flowering trees. I just want these big solar panels to continue to grow, absorb the sunlight, and just give this thing great growth. And you can see what it looks like when you're done. We just got, this was done, like I said, about three weeks ago. But over here, let me show you. This is my latest haul. Carmen, uh, Charwell, Jamboys. I think I got three Charwells, Jamboys, and a Carmen. We can just see what this heavy 16 hydroponic foliar feed did to this plant. And so now we're just going to come back and put the fish emulsion on this reed on the leaves. And just make sure you stay away from it because you will smell like it when it's done. And so we have the hydroponic store, expensive $100 a gallon kind of stuff. And then our fish emulsion, $10 a gallon. And we'll get very similar results. Um, we'll take a look at this and this in about 30 days and see how it comes up. Let's go over here to the younger trees here. Now, I don't think since I've transplanted these in, my, in the better potting soil, these came in a heavier peat moss potting soil. So since I transplanted them into my soil, I don't think I've done any kind of leaf work to it. Uh, but you can see these, these are healthy. So let's just give them a little spritz of the stink and get their solar panels starting to grow. Solar panels and water pumps. That's what a good avocado tree is. This is our gem avocado. You can see it's flowering like crazy. Got one last avocado left on it in there somewhere. There it is. This one I don't think I've ever put any foliar feed on, but it's flowering real nicely in the container. What's interesting about this gem, that is turning black, but as you can see, set this down as you can see here still not turning any kind of yellow color so this thing's not ready to pick and won't be for i would say a few more months but this thing's flowering like crazy it's got a lot of growth on it it's probably grown some of these limbs have grown four feet since last year in this container and i'll probably cut it down a little bit after it set some fruit here in a few months. Let me show you this. This is the reed I did a video on when the wind just battered this thing, blew all the leaves off. So, in blowing off all the leaves, it's started to go again, flowering and pushing new growth. Down here, see how young and tender those leaves are and how small they are, but look at how they're, they're clustering on this. So you know you got a healthy healthy tree when it sprouts growth out like that after the wind just ravaged this thing and blew all the leaves off. I mean, literally, that's the last couple of leaves left right there from last fall. The rest of this is new growth from the last couple of weeks. Anyway, I wanted to show you that tip to get the solar panels, which are the leaves, to absorb as much photosynthesis and as the water pump in the roots and the solar panels as the leaves function correctly, we get the fruit we love. Please like, share, subscribe, and we'll catch you next time. Thanks again.